WoW's default UI is so outdated. If you want to know how to fix it, stick around. Hello, my name is Vats and welcome to the third part of the beginner's guide to World of Warcraft. Today I want to have a quick video about the user interface in the game and what you can do in order to improve it. First of all, what is the user interface or the UI as most people call it? By definition, it is what allows users to interact with the game via graphical means. The UI is everything you can see that isn't part of the world. You can hide your UI with the default keybind Alt-Z on your keyboard. Basically everything that was hidden right now is your UI. And there are many ways you can enhance its efficiency and ease of use. So the default UI is rather simple, but it's not as functional as I would like. As you can see, your health and resources are at the top left corner of your screen, with your target right next to it. Your spells and abilities are at the bottom of your screen, and your buffs and debuffs are at the top right corner. This is a mess. The things you need to monitor are all over the place. So we'll make a small adjustment and move your target and your health to the center of your screen. But don't block out your character, you always want to see if you're standing in the right place or you're standing in some toxic puddle. This is the first basic change you should do and next up are your keybinds. One glaring issue is you have to keep your left hand near the WASD keys and have your combat abilities at a reach of your fingers. The action bar's default keybinds are these. This is very uncomfortable unless you're like a pianist with really long fingers we should think about rebinding some keys. You can press escape and you can do it right here under the keybind section in the menu. The keys we are rebinding are only a suggestion and you can and should pick whatever keys you're most comfortable with. Let's do something that will apply to all your characters regardless of what class you play. In order to free up some keys, you can rebind strafe left and strafe right to A and D. That will give you two new binds to use for spells and abilities. Let's take a look at the keyboard. Notice the keys adjacent to the WASD keys. We can rebind those keys to any keys after 5. And we shall use the new quick keybind mode in order to do it. For example, Q, E, R, F, C, X and Z can become your new keybinds instead of those default ones. Another thing to notice is you will use more than 12 abilities and you will need more action bars in order to keybind them. We can do that under the action bar section in the interface menu. For now, enable bottom left bar, but if you want more, you can enable bottom right bar, right bar and right bar 2. Now that we have another action bar, we need to keybind it. Since we're already familiar with the current layout, we can use modifiers in order to keep the current layout but enable more keybinds. You can use Shift, Control and Alt modifiers combined with any key you want. For example, let's bind this key into Shift 1 and you can keep going as you gain more abilities and more consumable items to bind. We can use the Alt and Control modifiers and even your mouse to gain enough new binds to utilize their full potential. There are many more customization options available for your UI, but the changes we covered here are the most essential and crucial for leveling and questing. It is important that you tinker around with the interface options and figure out what's the best UI you can do to fit your playstyle. For example, a healer's UI will focus more about the party's health and your own mana to make your gameplay more efficient. Don't be afraid to experiment with UI options, as you can easily restore everything you did to the default UI. And as always, if you're interested in learning more about World of Warcraft, tune in for future episodes in this series. Make sure you click the subscribe button so you can get more videos like this, and leave a comment down below if you have any further questions about UI and keybinds. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week.